Welcome to this free anaesthetic tutorial on thiopentone. Today we will discuss the drug in a cup AM structure, focusing on its chemical composition, its uses, presentation, actions, mechanism, and following this by its pharmacodynamic and pharmacokinetics, and ending with special points. Chemical. Thiopentone is the sulfur analogue of the oxybarbiturate pentobarbitone. Its sulfur atom confers a short duration of action. Uses. Its principal use is as an IV induction agent. It can be used to manage status epilepticus and can be used in infusion for neuroprotection due to lowering of cerebral blood flow and cerebral metabolic rate of oxygen. Presentation. It is supplied as a hygroscopic pale yellow powder. Ampules commonly contain 500 mg of sodium thiopental with 6% sodium carbonate in an inert atmosphere of nitrogen. It is reconstituted with water and yields a 25 mg per mil solution with a pH of 10.8 and a pKa of 7.6. The solution is bacteriostatic and stable for around 48 hours. Dosing. IV induction dosing is 2 to 7 mg per kilogram. It has a one arm brain circulation time lasting around 5 to 15 minutes. In repeated dosing, it will accumulate and has a long context sensitive half time when given by infusion. It is possible to give it rectally, although this route is limited due to the time delay for onset of action. Mechanism of action. It has a hypnotic and anticonvulsant properties. It reduces postsynaptic sensitivity to neurotransmitters and causes reduced presynaptic neurotransmitter release by inhibiting calcium channels. In binding to GABA A channels in the central nervous system, it causes increased chloride conductance, causing neuronal hyperpolarization and reduction in neurotransmission. Pharmacodynamics It is negatively anotropic with a 20% reduction in cardiac output. It reduces systemic vascular resistance. It causes respiratory depression, leading to apnea. However, unlike propofol, it does not obtund laryngeal reflexes and is therefore unsuitable with the use of a supraglottic airway. It causes reduced response to hypercapnia and may precipitate bronchoconstriction. It reduces cerebral blood flow, intracranial pressure and intraocular pressure. It can reduce intestinal activity and causes constriction of splanchnic vessels. It causes reduced renal plasma flow increased ADH secretion and a reduction in urine output. It has no effect on uterine tone. Toxicity. There is a 1 in 20,000 risk of significant anaphylaxis after administration. If extravasation occurs, it can lead to local tissue necrosis. It is dangerous in intraarterial injection and may precipitate leading to pain, thrombosis and distal limb ischemia. Pharmacokinetics. It can be given intravenously or rectally. It has relatively high protein binding, a reasonable volume of distribution. At body pH, it is in the enol form. It is lipid soluble and most of the drug is in its unionized form, meaning that there is a faster onset of action. It is hepatically metabolized. Inactive metabolites are excreted by the urine and it is well cleared with an elimination half-life of 3.4 to 22 hours. Special points. It is not suitable in porphyria and it cannot be removed by dialysis and therefore it should be used with caution in those with significant hepatic or renal dysfunction. Thank you for listening to this free anaesthetic tutorial on thiopentone. Please leave us a comment or subscribe to our free anaesthetic tutorial YouTube channel. We also have a free anaesthetic tutorial Facebook page as well as an Instagram.